Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to La Grande's Affair, the grand coronation night of the Miss Universe experience. This evening, 11 delegates will vie for the coveted title of Miss Universe 2018. Our delegates are Ivana Ibrahim, Aliyah Jackson, Ray Sutherland, Seychelle Ross, Kathy Anduha Acham, Precious Wadley, Maya Crookshank, Kalissa Williams, Caroline Barrett, Janika Phillips, and Tyler Thomas. Tonight we pay tribute to the University of the West Indies and we join in celebrating its 70th anniversary. Ladies and gentlemen, now for a feature presentation, hold on to your seats as we witness the crowning of Miss Universe 2018.
Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome your hosts for the evening, Miss Elise Rostand and Mr. Hans Devines. of the 2018 Miss Universe Experience. Let's hear it for our ladies who looked absolutely stunning in that opening number. My name is Elise Rossa. And I'm Hans Devines. And it is our pleasure to be your host this evening. We would like to say a special welcome to our esteemed judging panel, specially invited guests, our deputy principal, Professor Inda Ramnarine, our campus registrar, Mr. Richard Saunders, members of the Guild Council, members of the media, our sponsors, and to you, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't our contestants, our delegates look beautiful? Let's get a big round of applause for them for that dynamic presentation. We'd also like to have a round of applause for our dancers who really raised the energy on stage tonight. Choreography tonight was by Mr. Mariba Francis, with our delegates' choreography done by none other than Gerald Alder. And of course, this evening, our delegates are outfitted in beautiful ensembles by Harry Robertson, with makeup by Nakisha's Changing Faces. Miss Huey, verse 2018 is certainly off to a great start, and this evening is indeed special as it is the culmination of an exciting journey for our 2018 delegates and a tribute to the 70th anniversary celebration of the University of West Indies. Let's hear some noise for that. The Miss Universe experience has successfully established itself as a mentorship program geared towards educating, inspiring, and empowering young women at the university and has also been notably recognized as an effective tool to aid our young women in becoming effective leaders, exemplars, role models, and change agents in society. This program promotes holistic development, honors all aspects of the UWI, explores the concept of beauty, offers opportunities for individual growth, and aims to lead participants in realizing and maximizing their fullest potential. It is the hope of the Miss Universe Coordinator and the Coordinating Committee that at the end of this experience, the lives of the participating delegates are enriched and that they are all molded into becoming articulate communicators and more confident young women who are capable of becoming leaders and role models to their peers and other young women in their communities and by extension, country. Tonight is theme, La Grande Affair. As we join in celebrating the achievements of our delegates and join also 
the University of the West Indies campus community in celebrating 70 years of service, 70 years of leadership, and 70 years of excellence. Another round of applause for our ladies. Let's hear it. And once again, our delegates in no particular order. We have representing the Faculty of Science and the Technology, Ms. Ivana Ibrahim. Representing the Arthur Lewis Hall of Residence, Aaliyah Jackson. Representing the Joyce Gibson Innes Hall of Residence, Ms. Ray Sutherland. Representing the Faculty of Humanities and Education, we have Seychelle Ross. Representing the Faculty of Social Sciences, we have Kathy Anduhar Acha. And representing the Faculty of Medical Sciences, we have Ms. Precious Wadley. Representing the formerly Milner Hall, now Freedom Hall of Residence, Maya Crookshank. Representing the Trinity Hall of Residence, Calissa Williams. All right, we've seen where everybody is right now. Ooh, a little extra cheer there, boy. Representing the Faculty of Science and Technology, Arlene Barrett. All right, some supporters near the front there. Representing the Faculty of Food and Agriculture, Janika Phillip. Go, Margo. Four supporters, but a lot of energy there. Representing the Faculty of Engineering, Tyler Thomas. All right, up top we see y'all. And as we continue, ladies and gentlemen, it is important to mention that the University of the West Indies has been in the process of reviewing and renaming the Milner Hall of Residence. Now that the decision process is completed and the Milner Hall has since been renamed to Freedom Hall, it is important that we join our Miss Milner, but now Freedom Hall tonight, in acknowledging the historic moment for all the former Milnerites and look forward to all the positive change in the future. Now, over the years, the UE Guild of Students has been consistent in their efforts towards creating unique student life experiences here at the UWI and is supporting holistic student development. In particular, they have been avid supporters of the Miss Universe program in many ways, and it is this support that has helped sustain the program over the years. To bring us greetings at this time, it is with our pleasure we welcome two executive members of the UE Guild of Students, Guild Vice President Daria Narain and your Guild President Jonathan St. Louis Nahus. You can do better than that for your Guild Vice President and President. Give it up, give it up. Stage with you, Darian. Go ahead first, John. Okay, thanks. Good evening, everyone. How are you all doing? Good? Nice. So, it's been really remarkable to see the Miss Universe pageant just evolve over the years under the guidance of Mr. Jarrell Alder. Now, I think he deserves a big round of applause tonight. Wherever he is. So, you know, I always tell him that most of us could only dream to have the kind of aesthetic vision and commitment to quality that he has to execute something of this quality. And I just hope that if I flatter him enough, he'll stay to do it for another year. So here we are now at the 2018 Miss Universe pageant. And over the years, I've been really happy to see what it's done for the contestants and the way it portrays women in this little society of the UWI. Now, each of us here, we would expect is more socially enlightened than the average person outside of the university environment. So when we come to UE, you would realize that just by talking to other persons, having conversations with people, you learn more and your eyes are open, your mind is broadened. And one of the things, one of the insights that I received from the gender studies students of the UWI is the imbalanced way in which we evaluate women in our society. Something many of us don't even question because it's become so normal to us. You know, one of the first compliments that we give to female children, we tell them how pretty they are. Um, we give them toys that emphasize their beauty rather than their skills and teaching them to develop and grow as persons. And we've come to evaluate a 
woman's would oftentimes sadly solely just by physical appearance and not able to see past that. But beyond that is what a woman really has to offer, her mind. And Miss Universe has always championed champion, a holistic portrayal of women. And for that, we at the Guild of Students are proud to stand by this initiative and see the women of this campus become transformed, not simply by appearance, but into more confident and assertive future leaders of our society. And so I'd like us to give a round of applause for all our delegates who put themselves forward. I'm very proud of our representatives tonight, representing our university and shining as examples of what all of us, whether men or women, can aspire to be. Not just glowing on the outside, but having so many priceless skills and qualities that emanates and inspires others to become the best version of themselves. So tonight, I hope you all enjoy the show and I thank you for being here to witness this evolution. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to all our specially invited guests, our esteemed panel of judges. Thank you so much for agreeing to be here with us tonight. So the Miss Universe experience, so I'm not going to take it as formal as uh, my guild president would have, but instead I'll take a little bit more of an informal route and I'll share a little bit of a story with you all. Um, so for those of you all who don't know, the Miss Universe experience actually comes out of the office of the guild vice president. And uh, the thing is, is that I had a conversation with Jarrell last year. Andrea said, Darian, you know, this is a lot of stress. It's a lot of pressure to pull this off. There's a lot of pressure to string everything together, to pull everything together. And I, sometimes I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Jarell, I hope you don't, you don't, you know, come and target me after this. I'm selling out a little bit behind the scenes here. And I started to panic because I was like, Jarell, well, if you're not doing this, I don't know anything about this experience and stuff like that. I don't have an experience in this. And it took a lot of conversation and a lot of convincing. But when somebody has a passion for something, it really comes true and it really shines true. And before I even start to get into the whole Miss Universe experience, I would also like to acknowledge Mr. Jarrell Alder, the program coordinator, whose passion and his commitment to excellence and to delivery inspired me now and my whole council as well and I know Jonathan as well, to support this initiative and to continue to support it. So thank you so much, Jarrell. Um, I would like to also acknowledge our council. They have been committed to excellence this entire year. So I would just like you all to please extend a, a warm round of applause to them as well. To our judges for agreeing to be here as well. Thank you so much and for administration for all your support. But most importantly, I want to say a special thank you to the delegates who put themselves forward to be here today. Because this is scary. This process actually started last semester. And it is a scary process to go through because you have to come and you have to present yourself in front of all of these people here. And you have to present yourself as a strong leader and a woman committed to leading as well in this society. And that is not an easy task at all. So to all of them, to all the 11 delegates who are backstage there, and no matter who is crowned or coronated tonight, I just want to let you all know you all are all the best representatives of the University of the West Indies. And I encourage you all to please, to please continue to represent the University of the West Indies. Um, something that inspired both John and myself is that uh, these, these experiences actually lead to them entering into different positions of leadership within the university itself. So I know we have a, a delegate who will also be going up in the guild elections as well. So to her, I wish her good luck. And uh, this is what we like to see. This is what we like to see, that it doesn't only stop here, but that they continue to commit themselves to service across the university. And last, but by no means least, thank you to you, the audience. Thank you all for coming out and for supporting this initiative. Please give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you so, so much for coming out and, su and supporting and being committed to this. So, without further ado, I'll hand you all back over to the MCs, and thank you once again. We truly appreciate the support of the Guild over the years. The Miss Universe team really wants to thank them. You all, please give a big round of applause for Jonathan and Tari, and give it up! Now, tonight's experience would not be possible whatsoever without a group of persons who have given up their time, 
and have committed themselves to the crowning of Miss Universe 2018. It is now my honor to introduce you to our esteemed panel of judges. Our first judge is Mr. Leandon Wiggins. He is a 27-year-old marketing coordinator and brand manager for an international franchise. He is a young, ambitious, and passionate individual. With eight years' experience in pageantry, he has been able to use his knowledge, skills, and abilities to further assist in any area of the pageant world. An aspiring broadcaster in radio and television, he has worked both locally and international as a master of ceremonies, and he has also worked with major media houses. His developing public relations career parallels and fuels his drive to nurture the desires in the hearts of others and birth them into greater possibilities. He believes every gift and talent is created within each person for serving and uplifting others. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leonden Wiggins. Our next judge, Dr. Deidre Charles, Deputy Chief Judge, is currently the Director of the Division of Student Services and Development at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine Campus. She hails from the beautiful Isle of St. Lucia. Garçon. Dr. Charles is very passionate about her students and has developed many student support programs to support them. An avid believer in holistic campus life, as a student of the Cave Hill Campus Barbados, Dr. Charles participated in a number of campus activities and even entered the Miss Universe competition where she got the title. That's a big deal. They could make more noise than that. For, come on. Next, we have Mr. Carl A. Francis. He is the advisor of the Minister of National Security. He served as permanent secretary in the ministries of national security, labor, and the small and micro enterprise development and the trade and industry prior to his retirement in 2016. Mr. Francis is a graduate of the University of the West Indies and the Institute of International Relations at St. Augustine. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Carl A. Francis. Our next judge, Renato Sanka. For more than 12 years, has spent managing projects and special events at the University of the West Indies. She has been a fulfilling, it has been a fulfilling career for Renata. Her success in the challenging field of project and event management can, can be attributed to three things. Her commitment to training, proficiency for problem solving, and the fact that she's by nature meticulously organized. An internationally certified project management professional, her experience has fed into the success of some major events on the St. Augustine campus, including the university's 60th anniversary and 50th anniversary celebrations. From book launches and festivals to international marathons and black tie galas, Renata has coordinated hundreds of events. She still, however, finds time to indulge her creative self and to travel and even to be a judge. Let's hear it from Ms. Renata Sanka. Now the person that's going to ensure the integrity of our judging process tonight, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce our chief judge, Ms. Giselle Laurent West. Mrs. Laurent West is a lecturer and a motivational speaker. She has a third degree black belt in karate and in 2012, she gained a bronze medal in kata, the Ski World Karate Championships held in Australia in 2015, won gold at the New York Open Championships, and in 2016, a bronze medal at the Skiff World Karate Championships in Indonesia. I'm sure you didn't know that about one of our very own wonderful queens of the pageant world. She won the Miss World title in 1986 and has done extensive radio, television, and print commercials. She is married with two sons, age 23 and 18. Ladies and gentlemen, our chief judge, and who is going to lead us on tonight as we crown Miss Universe 2018, let's hear it from Mrs. Giselle Laurent West. You know, as the lesson in all of this, Elise, you know, you know all that you read about the karate and thing? Well, they don't play all again, vex with the results, you know. 
Play now. He did that on purpose. I read that bit first. <laughs> All right, let's see another resounding round of applause for our judges. All right, so our judges tonight really have a task, by no means um, an enviable task, uh, as they, again, will be ensuring the integrity of this competition. They will be scoring delegates on their presentations in the following segments tonight. The I Am UB segment, the Resort Wear segment, evening gowns and interviews. Total scores will also include points from the preliminary round of the competition. All right. You're ready to get this competition. Go and make some noise. All right. Now, before we go forward, let's take a look back. One year ago, on this very stage, a passionate, talented, and intelligent young woman was crowned Miss Universe 2017. Her humility, infectious energy, and love for humanity are just some of the contributing factors that earned her the esteemed title. Tonight, we celebrate true beauty exemplified, and it is with great pleasure we welcome our reigning Miss Universe. Give it up for Rachel Cattell. Nineteen-year-old Rachel is a second-year student at the university majoring in theater arts. As a student of the Department of Creative and Festival Arts, she prides herself on being a creative, a love of the arts and culture, and a skilled dancer, spoken word artist, and theater practitioner. Rachel is passionate about community service and spends a lot of time engaging in counseling work for the youths of her community in Edinburgh 500. In the near future, she intends to pursue her master's in dance education and performance studies. She also plans to establish a national performing arts school and work alongside her sister advocating for the work of the Commonwealth. She intends to continue work for the development of humanity and believes that once she honors the teachings of her mother, stays true to herself, and injects love and positivity into all that she does, she will in fact be the change that she wants to see. Miss Universe 2017, let's hear it for Rachel. And I'm sure you'll all agree that Rachel looks absolutely dazzling tonight. So Rachel, I'm sure that you're experiencing some deja vu, some mixed feelings all sorts of emotions running through. Yes, I am. I'm sure the audience would like to know that returning to the stage tonight, how does it feel after having been Miss Universe for an entire year? Okay, first of all, good night, everyone. Um, returning to the stage, I must say, is an exciting feeling, especially last year, thinking that I would not be up here again. So tonight, for me, is a celebration. So it's exciting. Absolutely amazing energy. Tell us about your past year serving as Miss Universe. I must say that my past year was completely fulfilling. I discovered new things that I didn't even know while doing the pageant. And I used my skills in order to bring up and build the University of the West Indies. So attending everything that UWE had, doing spoken words, and just bringing my infectious energy to the spirited people of university. Give a big round of applause for that now. That was a big year. Now, any advice for our delegates this evening? Yes. My number one advice to everyone who is participating tonight will be to remain true to yourself Continue to be who you are and make sure that your energy is nothing more than who you are. And just love the process and enjoy the process. Let's hear it for Miss Universe 2017, Rachel Cattell. Now, it's time for our beautiful ladies to demonstrate their school spirits 
in what we like to call Pelican Pride in the I Am UE segment. Introduced to the Miss UE Verse experience for the first time in 2016, the I Am UE segment grants each delegate an opportunity to engage the audience and orally express their desire to become an ambassador of the University of West Indies St. Augustine campus. This year, for the preliminary judging round of the I Am UE segment, delegates were required to conduct research and present on the contributions of their respective faculty or hall to the UE. Additionally, this year, delegates were required to construct and present creative costume ensembles in honor, in honor of the UE's 70th anniversary. Tonight, as part two of the judging of the I Am UE segment, delegates will be required to present a short speech of one minute, stating why they are the ideal ambassador of the UWI, using the phrase, I am UE, at least once. Delegates will be dressed in their creative costumes for this segment, bearing the university colors, which are, as you would know, royal blue, orange, and white. Costumes are to draw inspiration from the university and must also incorporate the official university crest. Overall, delegates will be judged tonight on the content and delivery of their oral presentation, as well as the design and portrayal of their costume in this segment. Additionally, delegates are required strictly to adhere to the one minute time frame. The ladies will be judged on speech value and content. They can earn 35 points for that category. Presentation and delivery of speech, 20 points. Creativity of their costume, 25 points. Styling and a cohesion of that costume, 10 points. And their general appearance, portrayal, poise, and presentation, they can earn 10 points. Ladies and gentlemen, let's kick things off with the first ju judging segment of the evening, the, Miss the I Am UE segment, as we begin with delegate number one. Ms. Ivana Ibrahim from the Faculty of Science and Technology. She is pursuing a degree in biology. We now move on to delegate number two, the Arthur Lewis Hall of Residence stand up as she's pursuing her degree in communication studies, Aaliyah Jackson. Mold others from them, then I am Yui. 
If it be she who has fears, but has found a way to overcome them and teach others how to overcome them, then I am Yui. If she be an ambassador, a leader, a role model for this campus, sound character of integrity, then I am Yui. Delegate number two, Aaliyah Jackson. Following on her heels is Ms. Ray Sutherland from the Joyce Gibson Innes Hall of Residence. Now we get ready for delegate number four, Seychelle Ross. <laughs> Representing the Faculty of Humanities and Education, pursuing a degree in theater arts. Delegate number four, Seychelle Ross. Let us now welcome our delegate number five, Kathy Anduhar Achong from the Faculty of Social Sciences. To learn, to excel, to make a statement. 
as a representative of the University of the West Indies. I stand tall with pride and dignity, kind and humble heart. If I was to be chosen for the next Miss Universe Ambassador, I would be a voice for those who are afraid to speak up and stand up for themselves. I would also continue to maintain culture and diversity. So come on, let us stand tall and never settle for mediocrity, but always strive for excellence. Thank you. We now get ready for delegate number six, representing the Faculty of Medical Sciences. Let's hear it for Precious Waterley. What do you see when you look at me? Is it just a random arrangement of molecules stringed together to form what we know as a human body? If you said yes, then you're right. But I represent so much more than that. I represent 70 years of unity, wisdom, and integrity of the UWI. My determination and constant drive for success and greatness has allowed me to overcome each and every obstacle in life. I am the embodiment of the rich culture of the Caribbean. I am Soka. I am Calypso. I am a double with fly. Just we you I stole you I am you Delegate number six, that's it for precious. Let's hear it for delegate number seven, Miss Maya Crookshank, representing Freedom Hall of Residence. Let's hear it for Maya. Up next, representing the Trinity Hall, delegate number eight, Kalisa Williams. and yet allowing you to retain your own individuality, to stand up and make your voice known. I am Kalisa Williams, representing this esteemed institution, and I am Yui. Yeah. 
Delegate number eight, Kalisa Williams. Following Kalisa, we have delegate number nine, Miss Arlene Barrett from the Faculty of Science and the Technology. Delegate number nine, Aline Barth. Up next, we jump into delegate number 10, representing the Faculty of Food and Agriculture. That's it for Janika Phillips. Janika Phillip. Our final delegate in the I Am UE segment, delegate number 11, Tyler Thomas from the Faculty of Engineering. Let's hear it for Tyler. Better than that for that show of Pelican Pride by all our 11 delegates. Let's hear it for them once again. some of those preliminary activities you spoke about earlier. Some of what our delegates en engaged in on the journey to Coronation Night. Just to recap, approximately six months ago, the Miss Universe process commenced with screenings, followed by a semi-final round, a sashing ceremony, a series of developmental workshops, and the sessions. Preliminary judging round, and now at this point tonight, 
where it all culminates in Coronation Night. In addition to the preliminary round of the IMUE segment, delegates engaged in a number of events and activities, including courtesy visits to university officials, namely the campus registrar, the director of human resources, the director of the Division of Student Services and Development, and the University of the West Indies Office of Institutional Advancement and Internationalization. Delegates also participated in the Guild's Think Pink charity campaign in honor of breast cancer awareness and weekly developmental workshops that focused on areas including public speaking, makeup application and skin care, personal branding, etiquette, wardrobe, styling, health and wellness, yoga, floor training, and professional development sessions. This year, the Miss Universe team partnered with the Humanitarian Association of Trinidad and Tobago, also known as HEART, who was instrumental in facilitating the community engagement aspect of the Miss Universe program. Delegates served as volunteers in the HEART Refugee Project and participated also in sensitization sessions that focus on the UN's volunteerism program and the UNICEF's CEDAW that is proposed to promote gender equality and eliminate forms of discrimination against women. Tonight, one of our delegates will be presented with the Miss Universe Humanitarian Award, which represents the young lady that has shown understanding, passion, and a desire to give back to her community and empower others. The winner of this award will also be given honorary membership with the activity and work on projects that will impact her community. Special thanks to Mr. Benedict Bryan and the Heart Organization for providing delegates with these valued opportunities. Let's get a round of applause for Mr. Benedict Bryan. And while these activities provided an opportunity for the development of our delegates, and the enrichment of their communities. It also provided an opportunity for scoring each lady on her achievements. Therefore, scores from the pre-judged preliminary rounds, the IMUE segment, the athletic challenge, and the preliminary interview were accumulated. Thus, each delegate will start tonight with preliminary scores. These scores will be added to performances in the following segments. The IMUE segment, resort wear, and the evening gown segment. The five persons with the highest accumulated scores from the aforementioned segments will advance to our top five. At this stage, all scores will then revert to zero. The top five will then be asked individual questions, and the three persons with the highest scores will advance to our top three. The top three will then each be asked the final question. Tonight, special awards will also be given in the following areas. Miss Congeniality, Miss Intellect, Miss Athletic, Miss Photogenic, Miss Photogenic, sorry. I am Yui, People's Choice, and for the first time, the Miss Universe Spirit Award. It is the hope of the Miss Universe Coordinator that the Miss Universe program develops into a, scholar into a scholarship opportunity that will allow for delegates to pursue higher levels of education so that they may return to the University of West Indies and use their skills and knowledge towards the advancement of the institution and the empowerment of the UE community. It is, it is his hope that persons are able to appreciate the value of this program and support its development so that even after his time as coordinator has passed, the program will continue to grow and positively impact the lives of all its stakeholders for years to come. Another applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the dedication and commitment exhibited by each and every one of our delegates tonight. Give them a big round of applause. We also want a round of applause to the facilitators and members of the Miss Universe team that have supported the process as well as the organizers. Let's give them a big round of applause, y'all. And now we enter our second segment for judging. It is now time, ladies and gentlemen, for the delegates to return to the stage for yet another round. This time, we see them compete in the exciting Miss Universe Resort Wear competition. In this segment, delegates will be scored on the overall first impression where they can win 10 points, attractiveness and presence, 15 points, 
physique, 35 points. Energy, charisma, and expression, 20 points. Sense of composure and confidence, 20 points. In resort wear made by Tevin John and the beauty of our delegates being enhanced by Nakisha's changing faces, it is time to kickstart the 2018 Miss Uivert Resort Wear Competition. Let's begin with delegate number one. Ivana Ibrahim, representing the Faculty of Science and Technology. When you see a woman with a vision, you don't know. Are you ready now? This 19-year-old is currently pursuing a degree in biology. She loves singing, traveling, and jewelry making. She loves languages, and she's bilingual and speaks fluent English and Spanish. Her ambition is to become a great medical doctor and find cures to some of the diseases in the world. Let's hear it for Ivana Ibrahim. Now, second delegate, Mr. Leah Jackson, representing the Arthur Lewis Hall of Presidents. This 20-year-old is pursuing her degree in communication studies. Her hobbies include acting, writing, and baking. Fun fact about Alia, I once fell off a jet ski out in the middle of the ocean. Her career ambition, she says her greatest aspiration in life is to be an entrepreneur. To this end, I'd like to open a public relations and marketing consultancy firm, a rehabilitation center for battered women, and a performing arts conservatory for troubled youth. Let's hear it for Alia. Let's move on to our delegate representing the Joyce Gibson in his Hall of Residence. That's here for Ray Sutherland. Ray's hobbies include drawing, painting, and networking. Ray loves to watch anime and Disney movies. Her favorite movie is Tangled. And she wishes to become a dermatologist. Let's hear it for Ray Sutherland. Next, we have delegate number four, Ms. Seychal Ross from the Faculty of Humanities and Education. This 20-year-old is pursuing her degree in theater arts and enjoys swimming, singing, acting, and dancing. A fun fact about Seychelles, she says she's a trained Jambalasi fire breather. Seychelles' career ambition is that she wants to become a professor of theater and carnival arts and own a mass cam that facilitates workshops on traditional characters for the public. Let's hear it for Seychelles. Delegate number five, representing the Faculty of Social Sciences, let's say it for Kathy Anduara Chong. This 20-year-old is pursuing her degree in business management studies. She enjoys hiking, modeling, singing, and being a creative. An interesting fact, Kathy was born in Puerto Rico and migrated to Trinidad at an early age. She wishes to become the managing director of her very own clothing boutique, and she would also like to use the opportunity to clothe the less fortunate. Delegate number five, Kathy Anduhar Achong. Our delegate number six is Ms. Precious Waddeley from the Faculty of Medical Sciences. Precious is 20 years old, and she's pursuing a Bachelor of Sciences in Pharmacy. Her hobbies include listening to soca music and playing video games. A fun fact about Precious is that she has been rock climbing in the majestic hills of West Virginia and attending a rock concert once in a cave. She desires to become the owner of several successful pharmacies across Trinidad and Tobago until there's enough revenue to venture into real estate. Let's hear it from Ms. Precious Waddeley. Delegate number seven, 
Up next, representing the Freedom Hall of Residence, let's hear it from Maya Crookshank. This 22-year-old is currently pursuing her bachelor's in communication studies. She enjoys singing, dancing, and parang parang. In the past two years, she has dyed her hair 12 shades of red, four shades of purple, two shades of blue, and one shade of gray. She wishes to become a lecturer in communication studies at the UE. Let's hear it for Maya Crookshank. Next we have Ms. Calissa Williams from the Trinity Hall of Residence. Delegate number eight is a 19 year old pursuing her Bachelor of Sciences in Chemistry and Management. Calissa enjoys reading, art and craft, Pilates and yoga, music and learning new languages. A fun fact about Calissa is that she really enjoys watching movies that make her cry. Her career ambition is that one day she would like to own her own wedding planning service. Let's hear it for Calissa, delegate number eight. We now move on to delegate number nine, representing the Faculty of Science and Technology. Let's hear it for Arlene Bartz. Arlene is 22 years old, and she's pursuing her degree in biology and biochemistry. She loves hiking, cricket, football, and producing her blog, Ari Advice. She's a collector of greeting cards and other personal tokens given to her by friends and loved ones. Ari wishes to one day become a medical doctor, a cardiologist to be exact, and she hopes to join the Heartbeat Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Let's hear it for Arlene Barrett. Our penultimate delegate this evening, delegate number 10, is Janika Phillip from the Faculty of Food and Agriculture. Janika is 19 years old and she is studying tropical landscaping. Her hobbies include dancing, designing, and recreational swimming. A fun fact about Janika is that she has assisted in the design, management, and execution of an ex-mayor's landscaping project. She wishes to become a landscape architectural designer and interior designer. Let's hear it for Janika. And last but not least, delegate number 11 representing the Faculty of Engineering, Tyler Thomas. This 19-year-old is pursuing her degree to become a mechanical engineer. She loves volleyball, modeling, swimming, and handicraft. And get this, she's obsessed with goats. One day, she'd like to own two goats, which she named Billy and Bob. Her dream is to become an aeronautical engineer and an artist. Let's hear it for delegate number 11, Tyler Thomas. All right, y'all. Let's hear it once again for all our beautiful delegates. Didn't they look stunning? Would y'all like to see them again? Let's hear it for all our delegates. Ivana Ibrahim. Aliyah Jackson, Ray Sutherland, Faisal Ross, Kathy Anduhar Achong, Precious Waterly, Maya Crookshank, Kalissa Williams. Arlene Barrett. Janika Phillip. Phillip. 
And rounding out our 11 delegates tonight, Tyler Thomas, a round of applause for our 11 delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Again, our resort wear tonight is by Tevin John and makeup was done by Nakisha's Changing Faces. Now as our delegates leave the stage, we're going to be giving you an opportunity to rest your voices, stretch your legs, as we have our intermission, because this concludes the first half of our coronation night. So we're getting closer to crowning our Miss Universe 2018. So we'll let you go, we'll give the judges some time to tabulate their scores, and in 15 minutes we'll be back for the second half of coronation night, the Grand Zafair. Let's hear it once again for all our delegates, ladies and gentlemen, give it up! And we welcome you back to the second half of the Miss Universe 2018 Coronation Night. Let's get some energy in the room. Our ladies have been working really hard. Nah, let's 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 check them out one time at least. Let's check them out one time. Ready, Ivana supporters, make some noise. Where well, Leah supporters, make some noise. Who's here for Ray? Calm down, calm down. Who's here for Seychelles? Only here for too many people, eh? Only here for about five people in the back there. Who's here for Kathy? Well, only rent out that whole section in the back there, boy. Who's here for Precious? Yeah, man, only have about a VIP section. Who's here for Maya? I swear, let's break down the whole of the whole there, boy. Who's here for Kalisa? Who's here for Arlene? I tell you, boy, it's have about 10 all there, boy. Let's strong with it, boy. Who's here for Janika? Man, come with sign, yes? And who's here for Tyler? That crew up there are real like all they all they here to back a lot of different people. No hands, you know, tonight couldn't hold hold on one second, eh? Hold on one second. Can, can we get a little more volume on, on, on this mic, please? Thank you. So I was saying that it takes a lot of support and a lot of cohesion to make a night like this happen. So it's time for us to thank our sponsors who have been supporting us along the way and have ended this journey tonight here with us. So we want to say thank you to Nestle, Peter Pitt, Exquisive, Exquisite Beauty by Zara, Vini Natural Cosmetics, Pure Lily Organics, Unilever, Fine Soaps, Beast Body, Epidemic Studios, Charon's Bookstore, Peter Elias, CLR Photography, and Heart Group Makeup Studios. Let's hear it for our sponsors. Support is always critical and important. All right, so if you just got inside, we just want you to settle down as we get ready to kickstart the second half of this coronation night. Now we kick things off with the 2018 Miss Universe Evening Gown Competition. This evening, our delegates were all styled in beautiful gowns from Kuti's Clothing. For this segment, Delegates will be scored on overall first impression, 10 points. Sense of confidence, 15 points. Stage presence, 20 points. Walk, posture, carriage, and grace, 
35 points. And a beauty, attractiveness, and a charm, 20 points. All right, so we're not going to hold you in suspense. We're going to start right away with Ms. Ivana Ibrahim from the Faculty of Science and Technology. In her evening wear from Cootie's Clothing. Ivana says about the Miss Universe experience that it has become something very dear to her heart. It truly embodies the real beauty which exists in our society, teaches us how to love ourselves unconditionally, and to change the standards of beauty. She is blessed and honored to be a part of this change, and through it, she has been able to look at herself in the mirror and love the person that she is becoming. Wise words from the young lady, Miss Ivana Ibrahim. Let's hear it now for delegate number two, representing the Arthur Lewis Hall of Residence, Aaliyah Jackson. Aaliyah says, who I am now is definitely not who I was six months ago. This Miss Universe experience has shaped her in more ways than one. It has molded her mind as she is now much more knowledgeable about our auspicious university. She can now proudly boast that she knows who she is, what she represents, and all that the university has accomplished over the last 70 years. She's also grateful for the sisterhood that she's now part of. To know these bonds have formed and they will stay and last forever. Let's hear it for Aaliyah Jackson. Our next beautiful delegate is delegate number three, Miss Ray Sutherland from the Joyce Gibson Innes Hall of Residence. Remarks from Ray, she said, the six months was a period of self-discovery and love. It was a rigorous process in which she became one step closer, or maybe several, to being the all-rounded woman she aspires to be. 11 delegates from se se separate faculties and halls coalesced to become one big happy family, the UE family. They were brought and initially held together by the commonality of entering the program, but they are leaving with much more than that. They leave with great memories of the times that they spent together, helping each other and becoming a part of the UWI's highly regarded sisterhood. These six months, she will never trade for the world. She is now one step closer to where she wants to be, and now she has another family. That's Miss Ray Sutherland. We now get ready for delegate number four, representing the Faculty of Humanities and Education. Let's hear it for Seychelle Ross. Seychelles says, the Miss Universe experience has taught her to be more confident in herself and the valuable lesson of being true to herself in her own special way. The bonds she has built have made this experience one she will never forget. Let's turn for Seychelles Ross. That's our delegate number four, representing the Faculty of Humanities and Education. Next up, we have delegate number five, Kathy Anduhar Achung. The representative from the Faculty of Social Sciences says, the journey has been an incredible experience. It has taught us so much about herself 
that she has never known before. It had allowed her to fall, get back up, grow, and mature in both her strengths and weaknesses in learning how to work around them. What stands out to her was a day in practice when Jarrell had seen that we were struggling, yet he would be the strong one and motivate the girls, and she believes that sometimes the littlest efforts go a long way. She has also made friendships with her dear sisters, and she knows that this will be a lasting experience of a lifestyle. Let's hear it for Kathy Anduhar Acha. Up next, delegate number six, representing the Faculty of Medical Sciences. Let's hear it for Precious Bodily. For Precious, this has been a life-changing, exhilarating experience, unlike no other. This one goes far beyond the glitz and glamour. From the moment she signed her name, it has been an ongoing epiphany. This journey has been like the ultimate trailer to the movie we call life. Constantly having you at the edge of your seat. The friendships and the trials that she went through and has made make her who she is today. Let's hear it for delegate number six, Precious Waterley. Following our representative of medical sciences, we have delegate number seven, Maya Krukshank from the Freedom Hall of Residence. Maya says that her experience throughout the program has truly been one that she can say was a roller coaster, both ups and downs, but truly a fantastic ride. She has grown tremendously in many aspects of her life and formed a great friendship that she knows will last a lifetime. The greatest part of the experience for her has been her sisters. True beauty exemplified, the ethos of the Miss Universe experience and in 11 different girls, she has discovered true beauty. The experience as it draws a beautiful end tonight is one that she is extremely happy she did not wait till age 70 to experience. Let's hear it for Maya Krukshank from the Freedom Hall of Residence. Up next, representing the Trinity Hall of Residence, let's hear it for delegate number eight, Kalisa Williams. Kalisa says that she would have gained exactly what she came into this experience speak seeking. It allowed her to no longer tell herself of how much she wants to change, but actually step, take steps to actually change. Besides making new friends from faculties all over the university that she never would have imagined ever happening, she was, un she was able to unlock a version that was inside of her that she always knew was there, but could not get it out. The main highlight of this experience for Kalissa was doing her oral presentations. Being someone that always compared herself to others, her weaknesses to their strengths. For the first time, she was able to silence that and present herself as confident. Please put your hands together for delegate number eight, Kalissa Williams. Next up, we have Ms. Arlene Barrett, delegate number nine, representing the Faculty of Science and the Technology. Arlene says she came into this experience optimistic of what she could gain, not only for herself, but those around her. 
the young women and the men that felt the need to become representations of growth, intelligence, self-confidence, and a sense of responsibility toward upkeeping the standard of the Miss Universe experience and our university. The driving force behind these six months was holistic development, building self-confidence, friendships, and positively impacting at least one person a day. Arlene says her greatest takeaway from this experience is the gentle reminder to do everything from your heart. If you're not doing it from your heart, then why do it at all? She will miss rehearsal sessions the most as it taught her to build a routine and gave her discipline. Let's hear it for Arlene Barrett. Now we move on to delegate number 10, representing the Faculty of Food and Agriculture, Janika Phillip. For Janika, a pageant is defined as a public entertainment forum, consisting of a procession of people in elaborate colorful costumes or an outdoor performance of a historical scene. However, an experience is defined as practical contact with an observation of facts or events. There's a difference between the Uiverse pageant and the Uiverse experience. Despite what you may see or what may be the results tonight, this was an experience. An experience which has formed bonds like no other. An experience which ripped apart any insecurities that might have been deep within and developed these young women. An experience which did not create friends but created sisters. And she is proud to be part of this Miss Universe experience. Delegate number 10, representing the Faculty of Food and Agriculture, Chernika Phillip. And following on the heels of Janika, we have delegate number 11, Tyler Thomas from the Faculty of Engineering. Tyler says that the Miss Uiverse experience has been an unexplainable one where she's changed for the better and she hasn't even noticed. The casting day was dreadful as it felt as if she made mistakes in joining the pageant. However, little did she know that this experience was made for her. Having gone through different speaking activities, team building exercises, and self-building workshops, it was hard having to accept herself in this new environment. Slowly but surely, she began to open up and step out of her shell. She has found herself standing in front of her class of over 100 students, informing them of the pageant, despite her shaky voice and trembling hands. This truly has been an opportunity for development for Tyler. Let's give it up for our delegate number 11. It's Tyler Thomas from the Faculty of Engineering. And again, we must mention that makeup was done by Nakisha's changing faces and all the absolutely stunning gowns worn by our delegates this evening were provided by Kuti's Clothing. For a final look, let's re-invite all 11 delegates back to the stage, accompanied this time by the vocal talents of Samuel Thomas. Put your hands together for Samuel Thomas and our 11 delegates. Tell me, girl, say yeah, 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 yeah. If you're willing to fight or fight for you, just say yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not over me, just open your arms, like 
Set me go say yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I don't want to leave, just hold me close. Say yeah, 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 yeah. If you love me, say yeah, 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 yeah. You wanna make this work, say yeah. Make this work, say yeah, 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 yeah. Me loyal, girl, me know that. But you see me never show that. We were sweet melodies like Mozart. I know that I made so much mistakes. This is why you never call back. Fading away, this is over. Don't flatline. On life support, you yeah, still beats for me. Yeah. Are you willing to try to sell me? Girl, say yeah, 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 yeah. If you're willing to fight or fight for you, just say yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not over me, just open your arms, accept me, cause say yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I don't want to leave, just hold me close, say yeah, 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 yeah. You love me, say yeah, 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 yeah. You wanna make this work, say yeah. Yeah, if you love me, say yeah. You wanna make this work, say yeah, say yeah. If we fail after trying so hard, it's like taking a bullet to the heart. I just wanna hold on the next one starts as we create this destructive path. If we fail after trying so hard, it's like taking a bullet to the heart. I just wanna hold on the next one starts. There's one question I have to ask. Try to sell me, girl, say yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, if you're willing to fight or fight for you, just say yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not over me, say yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I. Say yeah, say yeah, you wanna make this work, say yeah, say yeah, if you love me, say yeah, say yeah, you wanna make this work, let's make this work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to give it up again for the beautiful ladies. Da 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 da. I see the crystal raindrops fall, and the beauty of it all when the sun comes shining through. To make those rainbows in my mind when I think of you, sometimes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. We have to do that again because the ladies with the flowers didn't come out as yet. Would you allow us to do that? Yes. yes. All, right. All right. Yeah. yeah. I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all when the sun comes shining through. To make those rainbows in my mind when I think of you sometime, I want to spend some time with you, just the two of us. Mm. Yeah, we look for love, no time for tears. Wasted water, all that is, and it don't make no flowers grow. Just the two of us building castles in the sky. Just the two of us, you and I. We look for love, no time for tears. Wasted water, all that is. And it'll make no flowers grow And darling, when the morning comes And I see the morning sun I want to be the one with you Just the two of us We can make it if we try Just the two of us 
Just the two of us Building castles in the sky Just the two of us You and I We look for love, no time for tears. Wasted water, all that it is, and it don't make no flowers grow. And darling, when the morning comes and I see the morning sun. I want to spend some time with you, just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky, just the two of us. You and I, just the two of us. Just. Just the two of us. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me what they fighting for. What they killing for? No, no. We don't need no more, no. Tell them wicked people. Fire go on them. Fire go on them. Oh, I said this is the year for love. Fire go burn them, oh! Say little boy ain't got a ton, another one just fall. You beat your chest and smile, say you's a madman. Another young boy fall. Your soul can't rest at night, oh you's a madman. Listen, Mama is a man who does defend women and protect the young ones by any means, Lord. You ain't no bad man, boy. No. You ain't no bad man. A real bad man does make his own decisions. He don't need anyone. He only needs God. You ain't no bad man, boy. No. You ain't no bad man. So sit down, walk back. Tell them I don't need no strap to defend my people from my kid and evil. No. So sit down, I rock back. Big man, look for a rock. You're too damn evil. And if it is just my people, then fire go on there. Fire go on Oh, I see this is the year for love, trust me. Fire go on there. Fire go on Oh, say little boy in Banaton. I real bad man, no one women, woman, influencing young ones to kill a boy, no. You ain't no bad man, boy, no. You ain't no bad man. A real bad man wants for whatever he wants. He don't need anyone. He only needs love. That's a bad man, soul, yeah. You ain't no bad man, so. Sit down, rock back. Tell them I don't need no strap to defend my people from wicked and evil, no. So, sit down, a rock a back. Big man, look for a walk. You're too damn evil. And if you distress my people, then fire go on you. Fire go on them. Oh, I say this is the year for love every year. Fire go on them. Fire will burn them. Oh, it's a little boy in Banaton. Tell me what you're fighting for. Fire, 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 
go burn them. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's hear it for Samuel. Give it up. And also, let's hear it for our 11 delegates once again. Give them a big round of applause. And also show some love for our judges, please. A very hard job tonight. All right, take me down, Shamari. By the way, guys, I want to thank Ready Mix for some great music during our intermission and beyond. Give him a round of applause. We prepare now for our first question and answer segment and the announcement of our top five finalists for Miss Universe 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you all to please keep in mind that points from the preliminary interview, the athletic challenge, and the I Am UE segment will combine for each delegate, and so the marks obtained from these rounds will be added to tonight's scores from the I Am UE segment, resort wear segment, and the evening gown segments. So we just received the top five picks from our judges. All right, and we'd like to ask for some silence as we read the top five in no particular order. Are you all ready for the top five? In no particular order. Seychelles Ross! Janika Phillip. Let's hear it for Maya Crookshank. Next, we have Kathy Anduar Achong. Once again, the fourth finalist, Kathy Anduarachong. And rounding off our top five in Miss Universe 2018, let's hear it for Tyler Thomas. Congratulations, ladies. You are now in our top five. Remember that at this point, all preliminary scores will revert to zero, and the judges will be appointing scores for their question in this round, the responses to the questions in this round. So the judges will be looking at confidence, 15 points, Appropriate responses and knowledge, 30 points. How personable the response was from the delegate, 20 points. The articulation of her answer, 25 points. And the delegate's speech, vocabulary, and grammar can earn her 10 points. So let's get to it. We'd now like to call for our Miss Universe alumni to assist in the question and answer segments. All right, I'd like to call Ms. Seychelle Ross to this side of the stage where you will select a number that corresponds to one of the questions submitted by our judges. So please remember that each delegate will be asked a different question. Seychelle 
Seychelles picked question number five. Seychelles, if you had the opportunity to address a group of domestic violence victims, what would you tell them and why? Thank you for the question. Good evening, everyone. If I had to address a group of domestic violence persons, firstly, I would say that you need to pray, 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 pray. Give yourself to God and he will protect you. He will guide you along the way and the straight path. And the reason why I would tell them this is that God has made a, an incredible impact in my life. And I do believe that through him, anything is possible. I thank you. Let's hear it for Seychelles Ross. Next, I would like to invite Ms. Janika Phillip to select the number of the question she will be asked. Janika, you chose question number six. As Miss Universe, what could you do during your reign to foster greater camaraderie and inclusion on the campus? Thank you for that question. Good afternoon, fellow delegates, as well as judges and audience. What I would do for the betterment of the university as well, pertaining to students, is I would try my best to involve clusters, involve groups, age groups as well, to come together and make the community better, to come together and share problems, to come together and speak to one another, because I believe without having a voice, without stating your voice, it will just be a reoccurring effect and we will never have anything done. Thank you. Thank you very much, Janika Phillip. Maya, I invite you to come select the number for your question. Maya, Maya. you have uh, question yeah. number four. If you could play any sport in the world, what would you choose and why? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. If I could play any sport in the world, I would choose football. Because this is a game of strategy, firstly. And there is a goalkeeper and a goalie. And as a lot of us may say, just because there is a goalkeeper does not mean we cannot score. And this, and this is something that I live by. No matter the circumstance that you may face and things. All right, we just ask that the crowd simmer down while our delegates answer the question. So just give them a chance to answer. No matter the circumstance and things that may stand in our way, we can always score and do great things in life. Thanks. Thank you very much, Maya. Kathy. Kathy, you received question number three. There have been many shootings in schools in the United States of America in recent times. How has that affected you as a student on campus? And again, we want to ask the crowd to just stay quiet 
until the delegate has finished answering the question. Pleasant good evening. Thank you for that question. I would say that it has impacted influentially because recently, recently it has there, sorry, recently there has been a lot of there has been a lot of security problems. I would say an in. It has impacted me because as a student of the University of the West Indies, I believe that security and safety is a top priority. And in Trinidad and Tobago, I believe that that is a current issue, even on campus. Lately, we have been hearing of so many students getting robbed. And I believe that if we can, if we can solve this issue, then we can have a better place and we can have peace and unity. Thank you. Kathy Arachong. Finally, we have Tyler Thomas, rounding out the answers for our top five delegates. Tyler. You have chosen question number two. With the advent of technology, unfortunately, bullying has increased, resulting sometimes in death. What message will you give to one, the victims, and two, the bullies? Thank you for that question. Good evening, everyone. I would say to the victims that once you know who you are, no one can tell you anything differently. And to the bullies, I would say shame on you. Just because someone else is different to you does not mean you can tell them that they're not good enough because I myself went through bullying just because. <laughs> just by the way, how I would speak or how I would walk, how I would dress. And I would tell those bullies, look at where I am now. You have nothing on me. Thank you. Tyler Thomas. Thank you very much, delegates. And I'm sure we can all agree that the judges have a very tough time this evening. Let's hear it once again for our top five. Give it up. Let's hear it for Seychelles Ross, Janika Phillip, Maya Crookshank, Kathy Andwar Achong, and Tyler Thomas, your top five in Miss Universe 2017. As we give the judges some time to deliberate, we would like to welcome a very special and dynamic performer to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Miss Universe 2017, Rachel Cattell! Nineteen-year-old Rachel Cattell is a second-year student at the UE, majoring in theater arts. As a student in the Department of Creative and Festival Arts, she prides herself on being a creative, a lover of the arts and culture, and a skilled dancer, spoken word artist, and a theater practitioner. Rachel is passionate about community service and spends a lot of time engaging in counseling work for youth of her community in Edinburgh. In the near future, she intends to pursue her master's in dance education and performance studies establish a national performing arts school and work alongside her sister advocating for the work of the commonwealth 
She intends to continue work for the development of humanity and believes that once she honors the teachings of her mother, stays true to herself, and injects love and positivity in all she does, she will be, in fact, the change that she wants to see. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our reigning Miss Universe, Miss Rachel Cattell. I remember a night just like this. I think I remember telling just a few of you that I wasn't going to win this. What seemed to me to be pageantry at its finest that came with the list. Nails hair done, hair not coiled, and heels just high enough to look down on other females. That wasn't it. An elimination of all of my frustration and anticipation of signing that paper was brought to the forefront when I got that call back. I started thinking about life hacks like, Siri, what's the fastest way to grow out an afro in two months? No response. And suddenly I looked down and I realized that I was taking on water. There must have been some way for me to get hotter. I mean, I'm no fronter, but this Titanic was the iceberg. A week in, and that is when I realized that the girls were down to earth. More like they were the grass and I was the dirt. Kind of an extrovert that stayed on alert to protect my own insecurities. But two weeks in, and that is when I started experiencing the Miss Universe experience. Looking in the mirror, my reflection disappeared, and my flaws no longer stared blankly at me. I managed to take away every woman's stereotype out of me. <laughs> More like brains, and then the beauty. Charity, that was our line of duty. And speech, that was top priority. So happy anniversary, university. And thank you for helping me to become the woman that I am today, without shying away from my dramatic, artistic, and never simplistic self. <laughs> and shaming the statistics that told me that you never win, but I'd rather be me in my glee, looking like, Negro, please, I'm owning these heels. <laughs> Proud DCFA student and an ambassador to the UWI. <laughs> and now I know why the University of the West Indies have other universities pressed. It's because we stand strong, tall, and proud in our own success. Wow, beauty and brains, what a combination. Thank you so much, Rachel. Papa. <laughs> now, we wanna call Rachel back to the stage. Y'all please make some noise as we bring Rachel back to the forefront. And we want to also welcome Vice President Darian and Ryan back to the stage to present Rachel with a very special item. So Rachel, let's get, back, let's, let's get you back out on the stage. Y'all call out somebody, say Rachel! I think you all need to say it again. One, two, three. I think we need to call the last name too, right? So we're going to try it one more time. One, two, three. Only well, not sure the your last name was. Ketel is her last name, right? Rachel Ketel. One, two, three. Nice, man. So let's get that special gift outside here for Rachel. And Rachel has worked over the last year being an ambassador for the UWI, so definitely we want to embrace her as she takes a final walk this evening and is getting ready to hand the crown over to another special young lady. We all come center stage so that the photographers can get a proper picture very well. Thank you, 
that song, Miss Universe 2017. All right, so every year I say that this is the time where my nerves really start to get bundled up. And I'm sure all of you who are rooting for your special girl, your friend, member of your family, you're waiting, you hear the names you're going to call. But as we saw on stage tonight, all these ladies are winners. And we know that after tonight, they are going to go out and do us proud wherever and in whatever direction they decide to head. All right. So we want you all to remember that for the question and answer rounds, judges are scoring our delegates on confidence, appropriate responses slash knowledge, how personable was the delegate, how articulate was the delegate, and speech, vocabulary, and grammar. So, it's on to the top three. And once again, in no particular order, we have the first delegate entering our top three, Ms. Seychelles Ross. The second delegate rounding off our top three, Maya Crookshank. And finally, Finally, who we had initially as our delegate number 11 is our third top three delegate this evening. We have Tyler Thomas. So here we have represented the Faculty of Engineering, the Freedom Hall of Residence, and the Faculty of Humanities and Education. Tyler, Seychel, and Maya. Let's hear it for our three top delegates this evening. And one of them will walk away with the title of Miss Universe 2018. We would now like to call out our Miss Universe alumni to assist in this part of the coronation night. So for this part of the competition, all three delegates will be asked the exact same question. The reason our Miss Universe alumni are on stage is to actually ensure the integrity of the competition, whereby the two delegates that are not being asked the question, they will have headphones on and not be able to hear the question. All right? So, Miss Universe alumni, do the honors. Let's make sure those headphones are on snugly, that the music is on. Seychelles, look this way. Check, check. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do it in, 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 in the okay. order that we call it out, all right? So, Seychelles will be first. Oh, Seychelles, you, you, you are first, so you will be first, all right? Thank you. All right, so let's step, step forward a little bit, Seychelles. Yes, it's some pretty good music. All right, so we ask everyone to be quiet as our delegates answer the question, so as to keep it fair. Seychelles, the question. If ignorance is bliss, then why do you seek knowledge?
Thank you for the question. Good evening, everyone. As you said before, if ignorance is bliss, why would I receive or search knowledge? I believe that knowledge is key in everyone's life. It is key for the developmental stages in your life. It is key in becoming a woman of this society. And I do believe that with knowledge, you can achieve anything you want in this world. I thank you. Let's hear it for Seychelles Ross. Up next, we'll have Maya Cruikshank. Maya, the final question this evening. If ignorance is bliss, then why do you seek knowledge? Good evening, judges. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that we seek knowledge because knowledge is also power. Ignorance is bliss, yes. But without knowledge, what, have, what do we have? And I believe that... <laughs> I believe that without knowledge, we have nothing. Sometimes not knowing the answer could be great, but sometimes we must deal with the truth and accept knowledge and deal with the power and accept all that we have. Thank you. Let's hear it from Maya Cruikshank. And rounding off the top three, we welcome Tyler Thomas. Tyler, the final question this evening. If ignorance is bliss, then why do you seek knowledge? Thank you for that question. Good evening, everyone. I think that to seek knowledge means to widen your scope on life, on how you would know other persons. Ignorance is the lack of knowledge where you think you know something, whereas Someone is telling you, but you're just so angered that you just don't know. And I'm, I, I can tell you, we've all, I, I've been through ignorance, I can tell you that. But with knowledge, <laughs> with knowledge, we can widen our scope and how we can understand each other and make our place a better place. Thank you. Let's hear it for Tyler Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear about top three delegates once again. Seychelle Ross, Maya Cruikshank, and Tyler Thomas. As our judges deliberate, we invite to the stage Miss Universe 2017 this time to take a final walk as she prepares to officially hand over a title crown and responsibilities to another deserving young woman tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please show some love as I invite to the stage Rachel Cattell to take a final walk as Miss Universe 2017. something that I have earned. I am me, poised, intelligent, 
genuine and patient. I've grown to love myself and realize that I am more than enough. And that was a task. Dedicated and passionate, I strive to achieve all that God has designed for me, despite the trials that I may face. Remembering that you never know a person until you truly know their story. I may not be the ideal pageant girl, but I am beginning to experience what seems to be the ideal me. This experience is made to enlighten, mature, and advance young girls. So bold, daring, dramatic, and courageous, I, Rachel Cattell, am more than just this title. As I pass the crown on tonight onto a new ambassador, I hope they are well able to embody their true self before looking onto anything else. And realize that it's about being selfless and see beyond the crown, the stage, the dresses, the heels, and be able to say, I am kind, I am smart, I am important. I truly am beauty exemplified. Don't let your fear keep you from new experiences and don't let new opportunities scare you. They just might build you. <laughs> There's a blessing in everything that we do. So stay humble, continue pressing, and remember, your strength can never be compared or measured if you are strength itself. truly wish Rachel all the best as she goes forth and gives up her crown tonight. And any program is never complete without saying thank you to all the people that make things possible. At this time, we'd like to bring a gentleman who has been at the helm of Miss Universe for the past five years. The young man who has worked tirelessly over time in developing this program and continues to invest time, energy, and his creative talents towards making this experience a valuable and an enjoyable one for all. Ladies and gentlemen, with pleasure, I welcome to the stage coordinator and creative director of the Miss Universe Experience, Mr. Jarrell Halder. Wow, we have a standing ovation for Jarrell, and rightfully so. Tonight, I focus my thoughts on the wonderful things that are. I focus my heart on the fulfilling things that will be, and in everything I give thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel privileged this evening to have this opportunity to express heartfelt gratitude to all the persons that have made tonight and the installment of this year's program possible. As with everything, I start with giving thanks to the Almighty God for favor, blessings, mercy, and love, for being the center of my universe and for making everything possible. I wish to thank the Guild Council for this opportunity that was given to me five years ago, an avenue that allowed me to design a product that has now blossomed into a program that impacts lives in a meaningful way. And to say that five years ago, as an undergraduate student, I knew the direction that the Miss Universe program would take would not be entirely true. However, I understand, I understood rather, the potential of the program then, and what remained constant was your faith and trust in me. So to the good council, thank you. <laughs> to my director, Dr. Charles, whom I must single out each time. Thank you for believing in me, for giving me a chance, and for assisting greatly in my professional development. <laughs> to my colleagues in the Division of Student Services and Development, thank you for accepting me with open arms and for always showing up at the right time 
and lending support. <laughs> to my supervisor turned friend, Amanda, thank you for your counsel, your love, and for always seeking my best interests. To Camille Edwards and Jade Maskell, you are gems. Thank you for your outpour of love and for rallying with me. To my suppliers who give generously, who go above and beyond with little to no financial rewards, rewards sorry, but who constantly remind me that the relationships we have built are far more valuable than a business trans transaction, I sincerely thank you. Specifically, those persons that would have been around from the start, Elise, Shamari, Kyle Walcott, and Varun Harimangal, to name a few, thank you for being consistent and for your excellent service. <laughs> to all the persons that made the preliminary stages of this year's program successful, I say thank you. The preliminary judges, facilitators, and the service providers, thank you. To the persons in my life that serve as mentors but may be unaware, Mr. Jessel Murray, Mrs. Lystra Francis, and Mr. Michael Lipoy, thank you for the love and support. The successful staging of tonight's production is owed to a number of persons that I wish to thank. Staff of the LRC and Daga Auditorium, Buzz Concepts, Richard Carrington, Shaquille Jones, Mace Limited for Lights, Shamari Smith for Sound, <laughs> Sound Resource for our Special Effects, Hyphoria Events for Satisfying our Infrastructural Needs, Kuti's Clothing for the Fantastic Gongs and for always going above and beyond to assist us, Kyle Walcott Photography for capturing our process and post-production work, Elise Rostant and Hans Devines for a fantastic job as MCs. My colleagues in the UE's Marketing and Communications Office, colleagues in Campus Security for the assistance and kind courtesies, thank you. Harvey Robertson for the beautiful dresses in our opening number. Miss Stacy Hackshaw, whom I can call a friend, thank you, and the entire Ace Creations team for always creating a stage that reflects the beauty of this program. Heartfelt thanks to all university staff and officials that supported tonight and throughout the process, specifically Mr. Richard Saunders, our campus registrar. Thank you for the continued support. <laughs> to Benedict Bryan of the Humanitarian Association of Trinidad and Tobago, thank you for all your contributions. To Rachel Kittel, Miss Universe 2017, and all the members of the Miss Universe alumni, thank you, my loves, for staying on this journey with me. To staff of Upstage Events, led by tonight's stage manager, my friend, Shadrach Worrell, thank you for your excellent work. <laughs> to my esteemed panel of judges, thank you for accepting tonight's responsibility and for your assistance in selecting the new Miss Universe Ambassador. To my friends turned family, Leondan, Justin, Mariba, and Tevin, I could not possibly do any of this without having you around. Thank you for always being there for me and for teaching me the value of friendship. <laughs> Lastly, to the 11 young women that stunned us all tonight, the beautiful 2018 Miss Universe delegates, thank you for joining me on this exploration process and for allowing me to be a part of your development. Thank you and know that I am always here for you. This year, as I begin a new chapter of my life, I reflect on the growth of this program and the many lives that have been touched. To the Miss Universe program, thank you, and I will always hold a special place in my heart. Thank you. I think you all can get on your feet and give Jarell a round of applause. Five years of service. You all could do better than that for that young man.
Oh oh. Oh oh. Oh boy. All right. So we've received the results, but as we said, every lady tonight was a winner and is and will continue to be a winner. And we have some special prizes that we would like to award before we culminate this evening in announcing who our new Miss Weavers will be. All right. So the first special award we'd like to present is Miss Photogenic. We'd like to call Darian Narine, Guild Vice President, to the stage to present the award for Miss Photogenic for Miss Universe 2018. We also may need some assistance from our Miss Universe alumni. Wow. Thank you. The award for Miss Photogenic goes to Kathy Anduhar Achong. So once again, the first award, Miss Photogenic, goes to Kathy Anduhar Achong. Let's hear it for Kathy. Give her a big round of applause. Next, we have the award for Miss Congeniality, and we would like to call Mr. Noel Corbett, who is the director of UE's Campus Security Services, to the stage to distribute this award. And calling on our alumni to bring the gift for our Miss Congeniality winner. And the winner of this prize tonight is Miss Seychel Ross. Miss Congeniality. You can see why Seychelle won that prize. That is a stunning smile. Thank you, Mr. Corbett. Up next, we welcome Mrs. Carol A. Young, manager of the University of the West Indies Office of Inst Institutional Advancement and Internationalization. Let's hear it for Mrs. Carol A. Young. Mrs. A. Young will be presenting the award for Miss Intellect. Again, we'd like to call on our Miss Universe alumni with the prize for Miss Intellect. And the prize for Miss Intellect goes to Tyler Thomas. Special prize this evening is the prize from Miss Athletic. And we'd like to request that Mr. Ronaldo Christie, the Guild of Games Committee Chairperson, who I'm sure would have assisted with this part of the preliminary rounds, join us on stage to present this award. So the award from Miss Athletic. And once again, thank you to all our sponsors of these wonderful prizes. 
The winner of Miss Athletic is Kalisa Williams. Up next, we'd like to call Dr. Jacqueline Huggins, manager of the University of Rhode West Indies Department of Student Life and Development. Let's get a round of applause for Dr. Jacqueline Huggins. She'll be presenting the award to the I Am UE project winner. Ladies and gentlemen, your I Am UE project winner. Let's hear it for Arlene Barrett. Give it up. Next, we would like to invite our guild the president to the stage. Jonathan, please join us once again. And Jonathan will be presenting the Miss People's Choice Award. So award for People's Choice tonight goes to none other than Ray Sutherland. Definitely people's choice. Next up, we'd like to call forward Jade Mascal, Miss Universe 2014. Jade will be presenting the award for Miss Universe Spirit. Wow. All right, once again, we'd like to call forward our Miss Universe alumni to bring forth the prize. And your Miss Universe Spirit Award 2018 goes to Precious Waddley. All right, we can just step forward. We'll, yeah, in the meantime, we can just walk to the center. Thank you. Let's get a round of applause for Jade as well. Hold on. All these scream you're screaming here, love for you could barely give her applause. Come now, man. All right. Let's now get into the Humanitarian Award. To present this award, a gentleman that aided us in a very big way in Miss Universe 2018, the chairman of the Humanitarian Association of Trinidad and Tobago. Give it up for Mr. Benedict Bryan. And the winner of this award this evening is Miss Ivana Ibrahim. Thank you very much. Let's hear from Mr. Benedict Bryan as well. And also, highly commended, precious was also mentioned in a very high way. And also we have prizes for each and every single one of our delegates this evening. Really gave up their time and their energy. And speaking of giving their time and energy, we would now like to present some special tokens of thanks to all of our judges. Once again, we wanna say thank you to our judges. 
Leondon Wiggins. Big round of applause. Leondon join us on stage at this point in time. We also want to welcome Carl Francis. Join us on stage, Mr. Carl Francis. Renata Sanka, join us on stage at this point in time. Let's hear a big round of applause for Renata Sanka. Next, we welcome on stage Dr. Deidre Charles. And let's hear it for one of our favorite Miss Worlds, Mrs. Giselle Laron West. Give it up. Ready mix, take down the music. As we get ready to announce who will be Miss Universe 2018. <laughs> All right. So firstly, we'd like to call forward Vice President Darian Narai to join us on stage to present to our third place. And we'd also like to welcome on stage our Miss Universe 2017. Please give a big round of applause, Rachel Cattell. And here we go. Your second run up in Miss Universe 2018. Please put your hands together for Tyler Thomas. So now, it comes down to one of these two ladies. So we'd like to welcome to the stage to present to the first runner-up, President of the Guild, Jonathan St. Louis Nahus. And we'd also like to welcome to the stage to present to Miss Universe 2018 Deputy Principal, Professor Inda Ramnarain on stage as well. Okay, so we'd like to invite the campus register instead, Mr. Richard Saunders. Give him a big round of applause. Okay. 
So, your first runner-up, who will take up all the responsibilities of Miss Uibus if the winner is unable to fulfill these responsibilities? Please put your hands together for Maya Crookshank, which means Miss Uibus 2018 goes to Seychelles. Seychelles Ross! And now, it is time for the official passing over of the crown from one queen to the next. Miss Universe 2018, Seychelles Ross! Let's get a, a picture with our top three. We want to thank campus register, Mr. Richard Saunders. Give him a round of applause. by the emotion of the other delegates that this truly was a sisterhood. The last six months has brought them very close together and they are truly happy for Seychelles. Let's hear it for Seychelles, our new Miss Universe, Miss Universe 2018. What a wonderful way, ladies and gentlemen, to end our production. We'd like to thank each and every one of you for attending this evening. Give yourselves a round of applause. Till next time, my name is Hans Devines. And I'm Elise Rothstar. And it was our pleasure bringing you this wonderful experience and being your host this evening. We bid you good night and a safe onward journey. Once again, we say congratulations to Miss Universe 2018, Seychelle Ross. Soka Kingdom, Soka Kingdom, Soka Kingdom. Who ready? We now start. Get ready, day. Set up on start. Me three on the way. We lining up. Ready to charge ahead. For what is not enough, I want you to jump up. Trouble the ground now. We headed to downtown. Get all of the railing. So much human are trailing. Follow the big song. Get ready to mash down. All in the stadium. The whole of the kingdom come down. Time to show me your waves. Time to get out of line. You're born and ready for pace. Come on, wind in the roadway. All in front of the gateway. All in front of the people. Business. Yeah. This is the kingdom. Wind and